Hey guys, I'm the Living Boris, and here's why I think Universal should buy Warner Brothers. Rumors have started recently that Universal might actually be able to buy out Warner Brothers as soon as 2024. I think that, I personally think that, that that would be a good thing. And the reason I think it would be a good thing is because one, it creates healthy competition against Disney, which right now Universal needs it. Two, theme parks. Uh, Universal right now has a Simpsons Land and a Marvel Island. Both of those are Disney properties. Both of those properties, I'm sure, pay royalties over to Disney. If Universal had the opportunity to buy out Warner Brothers and own DC, they could probably bring some of those properties over and replace the ones that they're currently paying royalties over to Disney to. I mean, just to go over some of the rumors in the past, Lord of the Rings, uh, owning Harry Potter itself. Now we're hearing uh, the Monsters Universe Legendary, which means Godzilla and Kong. Uh, and I guess that goes into the third point, the lands that Universal can build in their theme parks. And as a theme park enthusiast, I think that that is a great idea. Uh, the lands that they could build inside of their theme parks. Uh, again, Lord of the Rings has been rumored all the way back since the mid 2000s. And it just makes sense that Universal would have approach buying the property instead of having it licensed off like they currently do Harry Potter World, just own the rights to it, which goes into Harry Potter. If Universal went ahead and purchased Warner Brothers, guess what? They have more grasp over the Harry Potter franchise. Uh, so it just opens up a lot of possibilities for the lands there. Think about it. Universal already has King Kong rides. If Legendary actually comes in. That'll be awesome because if Legendary comes back to the table with Warner Brothers and they keep Godzilla versus Kong, Universal someday takes that over. Universal already has Kong rights. Universal has already had Kong in the parks. Imagine how cool it would be if we can add Godzilla, Mothra, all the other monsters in that universe. Uh, and to keep it short, just think about all the things that they could probably end up doing with the kids on. I mean, Warner Brothers does own Hanna-Barbera. Um, the fourth point is Halloween Horror Nights. And personally to me, I'm a Halloween Horror Nights head. It's probably my favorite time of the year. Uh, it's probably my favorite thing to do in the year. Uh, and the WB Horror catalog is very extensive and very, very good. I mean, we're looking at things like It, The Conjuring Universe, Nightmare on Elm Street, The Exorcist. Uh, it's just another opportunity for... Universal to help Halloween Horror Nights grow, which has already become such an amazing event. I mean, so many hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people already going it, to it on a yearly basis. Uh, the fifth talking point today is going to be movies. I mean, whether people like it or not, Universal has billion dollar franchises. A lot of people didn't like Jurassic Park Dominion, but guess what? Jurassic World Dominion, I'm sorry. As a Jurassic World fan, I've insulted myself. But Jurassic World Dominion, a lot of fans didn't like it. A lot of fans don't like the Jurassic World franchise in the direction it's gone. Still a billion dollar franchise. I mean, think about that for a second. Those movies, as much as people didn't like them that much, supposedly, are billion dollar franchises. Another thing that Universal has that's a billion dollar franchise, The Fast and the Furious. If they were to bring in DC, they could possibly do a lot of good with it. They're already known for building franchises and at least they market them correctly. I think there's a lot of good as long as they hire somebody to lead DC that'll actually care about it and not just look at it as a crash grab, which unfortunately seems what's mostly happening in Hollywood right now. Uh, my sixth talking point today is going to be the Matrix. I mean, if Universal had the Matrix, the sky is the limit. There's so much that they could do with that property. Uh, I wonder if they could. I, I wonder if they would go down the rebooting route. I mean, to me personally, I think at this point in history, rebooting the Matrix may be the appropriate thing to do. I love Keanu Reeves. Uh, maybe bring him back as God Mode. 
uh, Neo, but I, I think it's personally a good opportunity to re reboot a franchise that reset the minds of a lot of people and just means a lot to people. Um, my seventh reason on this is streaming services. I mean, right now, Universal has Peacock. Warner has HBO Max. We've heard rumors that HBO Max may go down. We do know that there's been a lot of layoffs over at HBO. Um, but it seems like maybe that's not the true intention. Maybe the true intention will be just to cause HBO Max to save a lot of money so they can go ahead and sell it off, if that makes sense. Um, another reason I think that this might be more than a rumor going ahead and Universal buying Warner Brothers uh, about a year ago, John Campia said that Christopher Nolan was switching over from Warner Brothers to Universal. I imagine that the director of the Dark Knight franchises who directed those DC movies might be whispering in some ears. He is a very, very, Christopher Nolan is a very, very respected director. And I'm pretty sure he has some pull in some places. Also, about two years ago, I remember John Campia also stating that the Lego movie the Lego movies, I'm sorry, we're moving over to Universal on a five-year contract. Again, that that's something else that was in Warner Brothers' hands. We're seeing a lot of these franchises already slowly under the table migrating over to, uh, to Universal. It just makes more sense to me at this point. That Universal should have the opportunity to go ahead and purchase Warner Brothers. I mean, Universal owning Warner Brothers just makes sense to me. Um, a lot of people don't like that idea. A lot of people like to keep Hollywood classic. Uh, I think Universal themselves are classic. And at this point, we've just seen Warner Brothers sold off so many times that it's it's starting to look cheap. And why not? Why not give it to a company that can actually probably establish something awesome with it? With that said, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for spending some time listening to me talking shit. I appreciate you. Have a great day. I'm the Living Boris. Like and subscribe, and remember, always look up.